Right here are Magnavox. Normally they have a removable grill. But I guess these are glued on. They're AK-252 three-way <laughs> tuned baseboard. What a load of shit. Um, I doubt they sound good. Honestly, I really do doubt they sound good. Um, but, you know, honestly, they're fun to mess around with. These old boombox speakers are made to look better than what they actually are. They're made of MDF wood, normally. I'm going to give them a sound test and see if they're actually decent sounding. They're probably not, um, more than likely. I've made my decision. We're going to use the Crest amp, my old Crest audio. I don't really care too much about it. You know, it's a 2U amp, but puts out about 700 and, or 600 and something in bridge. I'm just going to be running it in 300 watts. Oh man, if OSHA saw this, man, they would have a fit. Oh yeah. Watch the lights flicker when I power this thing up. Ready? Ooh. Watch the flights flicker now. Oh yeah, you hear that? That's the sound of the power bill going up. <laughs> the, light, the lights dip so badly, holy crap. Uh, let me shut these off, actually. I don't know why I turned them on. You, it's best to turn them off when you're doing this because, uh, you know, messing around with this crap, it's high voltage. It'll hurt ya. Okay, 8 ohms stereo, 275. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It does do... It, 8 ohms bridge is 800 watts. I don't know. Let's do victim number one. You know, honestly, 275 will make... Any watts over, like, 5 will make these things their bitch. So, let me hook this up. Just got some non-copyright sound shit for us. Give us some light here. Because, you know... Oh, the compressor's on. Okay. Sounds pretty bad. My compressor's working pretty hard. Let's take that off. Sounds awful. Like, really bad. You know what? A little bit of good old lows so ought to fix that. Yeah, I didn't think these were going to sound good anyhow. But you know what does sound good? Oh! Wow, the lights in here dimmed when I popped it. I wanted to protect there. Oh, yeah, it smoked up. See, it's smoking in here, so... It did blow up. Uh, but yeah, this is what I mean by the construction. I just realized I'm smashing open the wrong speaker. Uh, here, how can I, uh, this? I'm trying to break them open, but, you know. There you go. That's how you, oh, hold up. This ain't no freeway speaker, they're full of shit. Look at, hold up, look at this. Tuned base port. What? The tune? Oh, it's a, it's a piezo. I bet you it's one of those glued ass piezos. Oh. This is why you don't use MDF and the frickin' IKEA desk level shit. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun to clean up. Easy enough. Tweeter which is then connected through this crappy capacitor. We'll just bypass that by twisting this. Oh, works better if you turn it on. Oh, the freaking lights, man, that's amusing. Oh, protection! Lights dimmed down and you could see obviously that it sparked up there. So I tried opening this one up by smashing it in the corner here and I got this. So I think one of the magnets have detached. Powering up the amplifier. 
Man, that's amusing, seeing the lights dim like that. Very slow. Watch this. Sounds terrible. Oh, right there. Blew up the tweeter. Here comes the voice coil and the big one. Whoa! That shit's on fire. Well, it just burn itself out. Hmm. You know, when I blow them up, they normally smoke, but I haven't seen one lit on fire in a while. There it goes. And the amp went into protection, too. Huh. You know, honestly, this protection system on the amplifier is not that good. Ugh, great. You can smell the china in that. <laughs> that really stinks. Ugh. Well, now I gotta clean up, so let's fire these off before we have a fire in here.